Atlantis, a guy who had more Carol. The lights of suns unseen, through depths of sea descending, within the streets awakes the ghost of noon to bite its little hour and die unheeding, blending into a night that knows no stars nor moon. The hiring feet of storms that trample over surges arose no echo in these silent deeps. The thunder thrills a peace and a sort of lightning scorches the dim, dead calm of a lost Atlantis sleeps. Long leagues above the courts for stately days advancing, kindly new dawns and see new sunsets dim. And, wide and very eyed, the old stars, backward glancing, reluctant pause upon the ocean's rim, but she of dawns and dusts, forgotten and forgetful, broods in the depths with slumber weighted eyes. For all her splendid past, unanxious, unregretful, she waits for call the bits awake and rise. No mortal voice she hears, her strong young ships, full frightened, with hopes of men, with women's sighs and tears, above her blue black walls and portals golden gated sweep on, unnoted through the speeding years, until at last they come, and still in silence resting, she keeps her vigil underneath the waves, by tempest tossed and torn, and weary of her questioning, slow sliding downward past her to their graves. So side by side they lie in ever gaining number, the sunken ships, the fate of fortune led. To this the final port resists the sent to slumber, until the sea shall render up her dead, shall render up her dead to all the olden glories, shall render up what knows so well she keeps, buried lives and laughs, the strange unfinished stories of eastern depths, the lost Atlantis sleeps.